Hey everybody, March 25th, 2020. So Jesus is still on the throne and the people of God march forward. Don't inject fear into your situations, inject faith. And uh, you say, well, how do I do that? I, I have a risk of losing mortgage. I have a risk of my car, losing my car. I have a risk of we've lost our jobs. How do you live by faith when it's obvious that you're losing and having great difficulties? I want to show you how you do that. Number one, you have to know that if you follow God's voice, that he will lead you to a victory. Even if you're starting way behind, even if you're starting 10,000 yards below ground, you know that Jesus will lead you out of the valley and he'll lead you into the promised land. Okay, out of the wilderness in the promised land. So, you have to have a, a, a patience to it and you have to have faith. The Bible says through faith and patience, you will inherit promises. So you say, Lord, I need employment. Lord, I need, you know, you, t you tell him your needs. But remember, you put him first, you seek him, you listen to him, you do what you know to do, you do everything you know to do, you pray everything you know to pray, and you know in the end you'll win. The Bible says in this world you will have tribulations, trials, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So everyone that goes with Jesus will overcome. Everyone that shrieks back from him takes it into their own hands, injects fear, says the worst things, gives up, no guarantee of victory. So listen, Job 5.22 says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. How could a person laugh while destruction is going on in famine? Because you have that inner joy. You know Jesus is with you. So right now, get closer to God, closer to your church family, closer to your biological family, and uh, you and Jesus will make it. Now listen, you say, how do I get closer to my church family? We're not even allowed to meet, or our church didn't meet last week, or whatever. Listen, there's different ways to meet. You can meet online, you can meet through phone call. Small groups are allowed to meet, you know? And uh, so, listen church, and listen community. God's on the throne, new methods of the gospel are getting out. People are saying, how do I reach children? How do I reach youth? How do I reach adults during this time? Watch all the innovation and watch the church end up on top.